Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to open up two different instances of the same app. So lots of applications on the macOS operating system don't allow you to open up more than one window. For example, if I use the VLC media player and I want to open up a second video and say play them at the same time, then this isn't quite easy to do on the Mac. However, I'm going to show you a workaround to open up multiple instances of any app on the macOS operating system. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing. It just takes a moment to do and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac tutorials. So let's say I have VLC open at the moment. What we're gonna do is go to terminal here. So we're gonna to go to the top right hand side and click on spotlight. We're gonna type in the word terminal and then we're gonna click on this top entry here. And then this is gonna give us our terminal window. And what we're gonna do is type in the command open space dash n space dash a space. And then what we're gonna do is to type in the name of the app. So in this instance, it's VLC. So I'm gonna type in vlc.app. When I press return, it's gonna open up a secondary window. So I'm gonna press return now. And now I have two windows of VLC open. So I could theoretically have two different videos going at the same time. I can even do this again, press return, and then I'll have a third instance too. So you can do this as many times as you like, so you can manually open up multiple windows of the same application. So this doesn't just apply for video files, you can also do things like game emulators too. Here I've got EtherSX2, I've got one window open here, I can type in the same command, open and a so here we can type in the same command with a different application name and press return. And now we have two instances of the same game emulator. So this really does apply to almost any application. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe. I've got lots of other Mac tutorials like this on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.